So hello again, a new day, a new project. For today, I wanna show you how I'm doing my videos, what kind of uh, video editor I'm using, what kind of gears I'm using, my uh, voice recorder and uh, the laptop I'm using and all the stuffs together to make a nice and clean video for YouTube. But first of all, I have to show you how to capture the screen. And uh, I found the best way to have a screen capture is using VLC. How we can use that? Very simple. Just open media, convert, save, capture device, desktop. Here you put the number of frames. I'm usually using 25 in PAL system. And down here, this is a surprise because you see, I need the mouse too. So I need all this mouse moving. How can we do that? Okay, let me show you. First of all, we have to download from the internet a, a mouse picture. You go to, a, let's say, paint or something and make it 42 on 42. Okay, 42 on 42. You see, and I got it that little one over there. You save this one somewhere. It can be on PNG or it can be a jpeg doesn't really matter let's say png mouse save of course i want to continue okay so now what are you gonna do with this one you go in uh, disk c looking for vlc folder and is this video lan video lan and we have vlc you take this one you move it here be sure it's in vlc folder having the capture you see here we have show more options. You let the screen, VPC and all this blah, blah, blah here. And then you add this text, screen mouse image, and you put mouse PNG. You see, this one should go after all of these things here. And it's done. Now, you have to find the place where to put your video. Let's say I take it right here let's have a name for it test and you just push start and you are ready to capture the screen let me go to my favorite editor and this is vegas pro 18 okay so this is the main page over here now we have to open the files i recorded earlier the videos and photos and whatever so i'm gonna have this intro over here then about the lights here that's number three about headphones monitor and so on over here okay and then about the sound recorder i'm using right now you'll hear the sound from my sony pcm d50 so this is about sony okay you go a little bit farther Come on up, come on up, that's it. Okay, so these are the video shootings, the video files. This is gonna be a kind of intro. So I don't really need the sound of this one. I need all of this a little bit brighter. We go here and we go to track FX and we have a lot of nice things over here. What I'm using is brightness and contrast. So all I have to do is to have a little bit of brightness, not too much, like 061. I want to make this going in a little bit nicer. So I don't want to use any of these uh, effects, I may say. You can use them. Let's see. That's a linear wipe. How it's coming. I don't like it or let's say a 3D effect here. Let's find out. Ah, I think it's too much. So I really prefer a very simple fade in, exactly like in the audios. I'm going here in the corner of the file and suddenly you have this a kind of triangle, let's call it. You just take the corner and make your own fade. Look here. I like it better. It's more artistic, I may say. But of course, that's up to you. Then something else, and this is very easy to be done. You don't have to 
do too much effort about this. Let's say we want this to go one into another. Look there, the passage. And over here, we already starting having a wood here. The point is that I don't want to use this camera audio file. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import one of the recordings done with, uh, with my Panasonic. I can see clearly the waves, they are looking alike in this position. So, I have to synchronize those two waves. And this is easier, make it bigger and look here. And this is a perfect synchro. Okay, so because now I'm gonna use the, this audio part from the PCM, from the Sony, I can shut this down, it's very easy. This is the gain. So I'm not using a volume or something. It's just a game. Okay. This is much better. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. The video was done with SG camera and I may say the audio of this camera is awful. So I have to try to find another recording here. And I think it's this zero one. Let me Take it here and listening a little bit. Okay, there we are. Talking about Panasonic camera. Exactly what I need. And it's right there. And I think we can start from here. I mean, this is the right position for a synchro. Then I can mute this one. I'm still having an empty space over here. I'm going as far as I can to move them together. And now I can cut this one and you split the wave, put the gain down. This one too, I don't need it anymore. And there we are, let's see. Here is gonna be an empty audio. We can even normalize the audio so we have a better wave shape and a better volume too. Okay. We can cover this with something else later. So that's this number two. I think it's a nice translation here. Well, I think you catch the the idea of the things. I don't have to, to go further. Okay, let's say we want to introduce a text. And that is very, very easy. You just insert a video track. We already have it here, this video track. And let's say over here, I want to have a text. You go insert text and there we are. And I already have my favorite uh, and I have already have my favorite preset let's say okay and we can write this or anything you like about doing my own video and there we are here is the text of course I'm gonna do the same trick or let's put a translation effect better this one going in, this one going out. And let's see the result. So, we have the slide starting, text is coming, that's it. Perfect. We have the videos and we have the new audio tracks over here. And let's say, I showed you how to put the things together. So you can split the videos, uh, you can split the audio and all uh, the stuffs together. And now, let's say we put all the videos together, we put all the audio records together, but I want to add a little bit of music. So over here, we insert an audio track and 
let's have let's have some music uh, where over here let's say I want to have this one and here is a something really nice we're going to do a kind of automatization because we don't want the volumes you know to be constant all the time you see in the beginning of the video I don't have any speech I don't have any voice nothing so over there it will be just music and we can do this we can do automation activate automation control there we go and this will be done at the end of the things there we go and over here we start pushing down the volume like this and stop and everything will go down here volume at minus 30 let's say so now the music it will be just somewhere on the background we can hear the music there so let's say we go to another passage where we need the music louder where I need the music oh right here you see here I told you that's an empty space no speech nothing so I'm coming here get ready and go and now volumes and back You see? And it's something like this. Panasonic. And then we put the uh, motor strings together in uh, the software. Okay, so this is my little... Uh... And let's say we are at the end of the videos. And uh, let's have a final text or something. I'm usually having my own please subscribe because this is for uh, it's for YouTube no so I need you guys I need subscribers and viewers also and let's say I'm having this in the end of this of the video let's use some effect here the intro you can change the position of the text very easy if we go down like this then the video is going the text is going up anytime when you have uh, when you've done a mistake or something then you go control and Z and you are back to what you have done before so let's say this is the end of the video let me have a fade out nice and long fade out why because I want to put the music higher so I are back here on music okay and, uh, get ready I have also this, uh, Yamaha monitors. so when the text is coming Okay, there we go. Okay, push the volume up. And fade out. And that's it. This one goes out. And there we are. That's our video. With music on the background with with text and everything so now let's say everything gets done you see we have this yellow stuff here and these are the point in between the render will be done so I need it from the beginning to the end you see it does the beginning that's the end everything is colored in blue now and 
all you have to do is to have the right render uh, quality and frames and all the other stuff. Usually, I'm using one of these Magix FVC on AAC MP4. And uh, what about this? This have this kind of, uh, let's say, uh, characteristics. Keys on 48 kilohertz, 60 bit stereo, video is 25 frames per second, high definition 1080, and that's it. You just push OK, and the soft the software it's. Of course, you have to find your place where to put this, and the software it start rendering. I'm really, I really hope you catch the idea of this. It's not so hard. You can make it how you like it. You can put whistles and effects and whatever. You can even have audio effects, you know, like, let's say, compressors and equalizers. I'm using this AFX compressor and I have this preset parallel compressor that's for vocal. It's, it's more for music than uh, speech. You can do all kinds of transitions in between the videos. You can have a bigger display if you like. And in the end, let me show you my system. This is a laptop, you know. It's an uh, Acer Aspire A51551G. And I have this processor here, E5. 7200U. And I also have 12 gig of uh, DDR4 RAM, NVIDIA graphic card. And this is very nice because when I'm doing render, and I'm starting to render the, the video, with this new codex uh, came with uh, Vegas, I can see the both graphic cards are working and the CPU in the same time and uh, all I can say it's pretty fast it's almost real time you see here average speed 22.6 and uh, I may say I'm, I'm really glad with this laptop it's working very nice okay thank you for now I hope you understand a little bit about what I'm doing here and uh, if you have any question don't hesitate to ask also please like and subscribe and uh, i see you soon with some new projects bye bye